sind die mir, ich vielleicht. Nein, nein. I said what I had to say. Shall I play it back? No time, no time. I don't want coming generations find platitudes in my speeches. My style is ipso greco facto classical, as classical as the body of a Greek a feeb sumo wrestler. <laughs> I do not doubt. As an artist, perhaps I'm more Dionysian than Apollonian like Nietzsche, but without the moustache. <laughs> also sprach Kazantzakis. Even Plato doesn't avoid platitudes. Or oh, platitudes. <laughs> Plato makes platitudes, not bad. But I have to continue. With persistence and insistence. Monikin's Periclean funereal oration. How many people would simply die and recite their own funeral oration to themselves? How many? but also how many monikids are there. Death begets death. Death will make the world go round. Dead men say no fairy tales. What is monikid? Monikid is me, a good and bad little monikid but evil for your own good. For I haven't come to send peace on earth, but a sword. For I've come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Matthew, about the son-in-law against his mother-in-law, the Apostle is silent. I must record this. It's not needed. Fame after death leaves me cold. It's a worse sin than greediness. Do evil and cast it to the wind, like the old saying, like ashes blowing in the wind, Dylan, born at this time. Huh? Although it sounds like our safaris. I have always been totally opposed to prizes. Perhaps I would have been the only Greek, but I would have never accepted the Nobel Prize unless it was in the name of Greece. Dulce et decorum est propartia labori emori. David Owen. Dr. Death. <laughs> no, Wilfred Owen. What is life? What is death? Only a monarchy knows. Because Monikin has lived so many lives and so many deaths, like the Owens. My tiny bottles, my tiny stars, twinkle, twinkle, little stars, how I want. I've said who 
I am. And then I announced that I'm going perchance to die. And then skillfully left the world in suspense. The world wants to learn the reason now. Why will Monikin die? Why should Monikin die? The die is cast. Julius Caesar and Mussolini. Monikin ante portas. No one will make me change my mind. No one. You think you're finishing too? Wrong. I've got another full bottle next to you and another semi-full in the kitchen and another one in the loo. Innumerable as the stars. I defy you all bottles. You should never count bottles the way you count stars because you get dizzier. <laughs> what would you do without me? Of course you'd find someone else. But mark my words, no one loves you as much as I do. Mark my words. Let's proceed. How does one proceed? What if I were to link the overture with the main theme? How does our noble, noble poet say, wherever I go, Greece wounds me? Is that what he says? Better something of my own or an epigrammatic variation. Liberty, cease for a moment to strike with a sword. Come, approach, and weep on Monikin's final word. Solomos, our national poet, the son of an Italian conte and his housekeeper. How does a Greek historian called him, the son of a servant. <laughs> what antinomies of contradiction per se. The son of a servant writes the hymn to liberty. Only in Greece could such miracles occur, such miracles and such sacrifices. Eureka, Alcimides, between life and death, the intermedio of sacrifice. Life means sacrifice, and sacrifice, death, for a Greek at least. Other people sacrifice themselves and die, but the Greeks never die. Greece never dies, <laughs> as this song goes. <laughs> 